Hey guys, long time no see. Actually, if you haven't seen my last video, go look at my last video. Um, cute. <laughs> cute, cute, cute stuff in that last video. Um, I do apologize for the glare. It's hella windows in front of me and I can't do anything about it because I'm not recording on that side, so <laughs> I'm not, cause I'm not. Um, as you know, by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about me packing, me moving, me giving birth, all in the course of three days. When I tell you this happened in three days, it legit happened in three days. And only by the grace of God did it work out because there were so many things that were like, hey, nope, not gonna happen, nope, not gonna happen, nope, you need to do this, you need to do that, you can't do this, can't do that, definitely can't do that, you need to do this. So it was a lot of things that transpired that basically made those three days impossible. But again, by the grace of God, I was able to pack, I was able to move, I gave birth. Um, yeah, so. Um, let's see how we can get through this video here. I need to build this because, um, at my new place, the previous tenant somehow, I have no idea, but somehow broke the closet, um, shelving. She broke it. Like, like it's, it's on the floor. Um. <laughs> We're gonna be building this. I've had this for so long. Like, let me look at the, let me see what the date is on this. Like I had this before I even moved to Chicago. This is 2017. <laughs> like this has been sitting in my room in Kansas City, Missouri for I don't know how long because I needed it, but I didn't really need it. And I never really felt like putting it together. So I didn't, um, but because I don't have a closet uh, shelving unit currently, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this together so that I can at least put my clothes somewhere for the top. So if you want to see um, all of that <laughs> and find out what what the hell is going on in those three days, um, then keep on watching. assembling 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 um no way. as i uh tell y'all about to, june, like june 30th to july 2nd um those are the three days 30th the first and the second am i smart enough to be able to multitask and talk to you at the same time look What? Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. So that was step five. So let's start step one. June 30th, 2020. Um, I went to the hospital for my routine every day. Um, doctor's appointment or hospital appointment. Um, for those of you who don't know, because my pregnancy was pretty much all to myself. I didn't tell nobody for real, except my parents who asked, and I guess other people who asked, but otherwise, it was my business and my business alone. So I ended up, this 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 little one over here gave me high blood pressure. Um, I didn't have preeclampsia or anything like that, but I had high blood pressure, blood pressure for sure. Um, I'll do a more detailed video about, I guess, my pregnancy journey if y'all want to hear about that. But nonetheless, I had high blood pressure. So because of it, um, 
obviously I'm just taking this stuff out of the box. Because of it, um, they, you know, wanted to monitor to make sure I didn't end up having crick. She got, uh, ended up becoming super elevated. So now, so because of that, I was at the hospital every Tuesday and every Friday, um, starting at around 31 weeks. If you looked at my other previous videos, you know I've been trying to move. I've been trying to move since like February. Thank God I moved, but I've been trying to move since February. A couple, a couple weeks before June 30th, um, I finally found a place. The place wasn't available until July 1st. However, they had explained, oh, the previous tenant, she said she was gonna move because she, she was also pregnant. She was not as far along as I was, but she was also pregnant. So it was like, she was gonna move before her lease is up, so you should be fine. Unfortunately, the previous tenant did not move until June 30th at 7 p.m. Um, so I had been, so what happened was I had, been, I had packed most of my things up by June 30th, um, but I hadn't packed it all just because I was still living there, like my kitchen was still unpacked pretty much, but everything else was packed up. So June 30th came, I got off work that morning, I went to the hospital and they tried to keep me. <laughs> They tried to keep me. They were like, uh, you're not going home. I was like, uh, I gotta move today. So like we, we like I had, I had been very transparent with them, with my doctor, with everybody. Like y'all, y'all been seeing me for the past eight weeks. And every time I tell y'all, I'll be better when I move. That day I was supposed to be moving and you're trying to tell me I have to be admitted into the hospital. This ain't gonna work for me. So the nurse had been the same nurse that I had kept seeing every Friday. I told her, I'm like, um, I can't stay. <laughs> like, like to the point where I was getting emotional. Like, I'm supposed to be going to get the keys to my apartment today. I can't stay. Like, I have to move. Like, my current lease is up today and I need to move. And I've already paid my rent to move into my new place. Like, I can't be admitted into the hospital today, okay? So she was like, um, all right, I'm gonna call your doctor, etc. So she calls the doctor. Um, the reason they wanted me to be admitted was because my amniotic fluid was low. Mind you, it was only low because I was dehydrated because I had been doing too much per usual. So um, she called my doctor. She reminded my doctor that I needed to move. My doctor was like, oh, that is right. <laughs> so thankfully they let me leave. Um, Mind you, I didn't, then the tenant didn't move out until seven o'clock, like I said. So I didn't get my keys till seven o'clock. I was supposed to be back at the hospital at 9 p.m. on June 30th, okay? Yeah. So obviously that didn't happen because I had to move and I was living out west. I now live um, south now. And that's, it's only like a 20 minute drive. But the point is, is like, I have to move all of my things from one place to another place and y'all want me back in the hospital at nine o'clock okay sure so needless to say um i was able to pack all my stuff up and move which was a whole nother thing in and of itself i moved i got my stuff moved at the u-haul at 6 30 i literally went and got the u-haul then the guy texted me like, hey, can you come get the keys? And I was like, yep. I brought it back to the old house, hopped in the car, went and got my keys, got back to the old house. We started moving my stuff. We got the stuff from here to there, unloaded it uh, to my goddaughter's cousin because had he not shown up, I would have been screwed majorly. They hated me though because I live on the third floor now. <laughs> Shout out to them. They got all my stuff up here. I finished at like 3 a.m. The hospital had called me at midnight like, hey, you were supposed to be here at nine and we're just curious. We know you were moving, so X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. So I called them back and I was like, yeah, I'm still moving. Y'all, my multitasking is really good, but this whole situation was a fool. <laughs> was a fool. So, sorry. So yeah, so.
hospital bag and I was like, hey, six. <laughs> so I ended up going to the hospital on July 1st at 6 a.m., which actually I got there at like 6.30 and then I sat in my car at eight because if anyone has given birth, you know, they don't let you eat after you get admitted. Or at least I got admitted to the hospital July 1st at 7 a.m. unless I was there all that day. Amniotic fluid was low, so they wanted me to deliver, which is fine. I was full term anyway. Um, so let's see, that was July 1st. Made it to like 4 a.m. July 2nd, and I was in a lot of pain. I was like, nope, no epidural, no nothing. I ain't getting jack squat, no mess. So then she was like, well, you know, we can give you this to take the edge off. And I was like, I bet, let's do something to take the edge off because it shit hurts, but it's not to the point where I need an epidural. Like it just hurts. Um, I don't know what edge <laughs> was being taken off because wasn't no edge taken off. Um, I was, I, I laid there for about two more hours expecting some edge to be taken off at some point. No edge was taken off. So nonetheless, um, didn't want to, but I ended up getting an epidural. It's one of more detailed pregnancy journey story and delivery. I'll do another video because I'm not, I don't want to get too deep and I don't want this video to be too long. And obviously I can't multitask. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk through this. I'm probably going to insert me working on this thing because it looks like I'm missing a part. Um, I didn't want to get the epidural, but I ended up getting an epidural and look, I got the epidural at 7.45 a.m. July 2nd. So let's see, 7.45, I got the epidural. 10 minutes later, 7.55, I was fully dilated. Um, eight o'clock came, she was low key coming out. The doctor wasn't there because they didn't expect that epidural to do what it did and it did what it did, so great. <laughs> um, but her residents were there, so they were like both like standing right in front of me just watching like hey so you know we're just standing here just in case she wants to slip out <laughs> then she was born at 807 that's why the epidural came in because i was like if we're only at this number and we've been at this number and y'all think i'm about to deal with this pain <laughs> no so again because i did that and then i went from a four to a ten literally in like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes tops um like i said i'm assuming that i, I was having no, I was having a 10 centimeter dilated contractions and yeah, so I, I was okay with, I was okay with it at that point. Cause I'm like, you know what, had I not got this, I would still be in a lot of pain right now. And I never would have dilated, so to speak, for them to see it, for me to be able to have this baby and then I could have had a C-section and all types of foolishness that I didn't want. 807, July 2nd, she was born. Um, I want to say six o'clock, July 3rd, I was back in the crib. <laughs> um, I would have went back to work, but I didn't have internet for five days. So I took five days off. Um, and here we are now. So that's pretty much it. But that all happened in the course of three days. So I packed my entire apartment June 3rd, came and got my keys, moved June 3rd, got a Mrs. Hospital, finished moving at 3 a.m., got a Mrs. Hospital at 6 a.m. on July 1st. Stayed in the hospital, was chilling, watching TV, not doing nothing, didn't record anything, sorry, because I wasn't thinking about recording for YouTube when I was doing nothing. I was literally asleep, because I hadn't slept. Like, I had been moving, working, being at the hospital, I had been doing everything but sleeping. So I literally slept basically most of July 1st. Um, started having contractions around, like that I felt, should I say, that I felt, cause I didn't feel them. And they were like, you don't feel those? I'm like, no, I could see them. Didn't feel, didn't feel jack squat. Um, which was fine with me, cause I wanted to have an after birth. So it worked out that I couldn't feel my contraction until they got really, really, really strong. And then it was time for me to push, so it was fine. <laughs> Um, and I literally pushed once, once, maybe, maybe, maybe one and a half. <laughs> and she was here. My doctor literally walked in as they were putting her on my chest. She was like, seriously? I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah July 2nd, 8 of 7, Poppy was born. That's not her real name, but for 
these purposes she's gonna be poppy so uh Feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload my old videos. Check out her pre-birthday haul. Um, got some hair videos out there. This is about to be my life now because she's all of three weeks old and clearly she wants to be in this video, right? So I feel like all of my videos are about to be a struggle if she's not asleep, which she normally is. But obviously she wants me to shut up. So I uh, just finished watching me put this hair storage thing together and pray for me. Um, oh, and um, if you saw the video, my story time video, um, there are different parts in that video where I'm giving like um, hints about my pregnancy because that man was psychotic. <laughs> and I was pregnant as hell during all of this foolishness that transpired in that video. I just wanna let y'all know. Like 23rd is the exact date I found out I was pregnant and I took like six pregnancy tests. But again, if you guys wanna see a pregnancy journey and all that, then stay tuned for some more videos. Warm. I, knew, I knew that when I swaddled you, but I was trying to get you to go to sleep. But watch her. Watch it, she's gonna be knocked out in a minute when I finish this part. Um, but yeah, so I was very pregnant when that man was acting the way that he was acting. Um, yes, he is the father of my child, but uh, wait a minute, I made this baby with Jesus, okay? <laughs> Me and Jesus made this baby, and that's all I gotta say about that, okay? So, nonetheless, um, this just went on longer than it was supposed to, but y'all know me, that's what I do. I feel like she's gonna spit up all over me. So, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, push that bell, push that bell, push that bell. Um, check the description box, there's a ton of information in there, I'm sure. Y'all, it's supposed to be super bright <laughs> because I need to put my curtains up and I just haven't yet, so bear with me. Frame connect to C and D. C and D. Like part A and B. Oh, so y'all y'all know I'm slow. And like I said. My multitasking skills these days are terrible. So A and B are actually these pieces, which are these pieces. Can you see this? Sorry, A and B are right here and they're these pieces. So I have them. <laughs> H piece, oh, there we go. These are H pieces and then these are, um, I'm sorry, these are I pieces, and these are H pieces. Duh, it says H, it says I. It doesn't have an O. Oh, there's B on this right here. And then these. So this is what it's looking like, okay? These pieces get connected with these pieces and these pieces. And I'm gonna speed this up.
that was a win-win um, after I stopped being slow. <laughs> oh, dang it, I put this last one all wrong. Shoot, why didn't y'all tell me? Oh well, I may or may not take it off. I'm gonna have to take it off. Oh, it's okay. Hopefully I can just kinda lift this up because I tied it right here. Hopefully I can just kinda lift this up and take this last rung off and just flip it around. It's going the opposite direction from these. So, she she was asleep. Now she's waking back up. It must be about that time. Um, but nonetheless, we did it. It's done. So it wasn't complicated. I was just being slow because obviously I can't multitask as well as I used to anymore or not with things like this. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, so this was a win-win. So now I have a closet. Um, until they come and fix my actual closet. Um, so now I feel even more accomplished and I can start getting things situated because all of my clothes are literally sitting in the middle of my dining room. This video is probably all over the place because it was supposed to be me talking while I did this, but obviously that didn't work out because I didn't fully look at this before I started it. I literally just unboxed it and was like, let's go. And that's not how it goes, so. I'm really excited about this though because it's still in the color scheme of my room so it's probably gonna stay up all right like i said i'm gonna record the different rooms in my house so i guess we'll see what i end up doing in my room which is gonna be the last one because I, I need to buy a bed because my bed frame got messed up in the moving process um so i might as well just buy me a bed but i have a california king size mattress and box spring and you know anything about furniture and beds having a california king size like they're already expensive having a full a queen a twin a regular king having a california king size bed yeah <laughs> so I'm, I'm currently in the process of deciding if i'm just gonna buy the bed frame if i'm gonna buy a bed frame and a headboard or if i'm just gonna buy a bed you know the bed has the it's an actual like it's framed up as opposed to just the bottom frame and the headboard so we'll see but like i said just stay stay on this journey with me because it's about to continue to be hectic it was hectic prior to july 2nd and it's gonna be even more hectic now um so yeah i'm happy you guys made it to see me successfully do this of this video awesome i did not start this video off properly i obviously am adrian renee and if you're new hey if you're old hey hey um yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye okay.